Uh, no problem, no problem. Please. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, please. I, I am I am very intimidated because uh, I saw your other interviews. They are really great artists, and uh, I'm honored that you are listed. You found me. It's a surprise. I am I am comparing with them. There's no comparison. They are so good. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yes, yes. How did you find find uh, myself? Find me. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I didn't do anything actually. It's just uh, things happen, and uh, I, I, I'm afraid of having too many subscribers and too many people that uh, you disappoint them. But uh, finally, people still come. It's, it's to my surprise. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering if you can, if you can talk about your problems and mm. how you use problems to your students. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> to, to start with, I, I am not uh, professionally trained. I have not been to art school. And uh, I started from uh, my, my mother. My mother passed away and she left a lot of uh, painting materials. I did not want to throw it away, so I started. It's a long story. I, I used to study international law, and then uh, I went to Paris. So, it's a, so um, I left my root country, and uh, coming to a new place, I was thinking what is, uh, I can do that, that is different from others. So I started uh, Chinese calligraphy. And then through that, I found uh, I can do some painting. It is very, um, very amateur, still now is amateur level. But I, I find that doing some painting, do not take it serious. You can just start and uh, having fun. And once you enjoy it, you will find uh, something more interesting. And through painting, through drawing, I start to see things more uh, uh, in a more deeper, deeper sense. Before I see a leaf, now I try to see the late leaf's shape. And because I'm in front of uh, my backyard, so I can see the, the shape of things and structure of things. And then you find a total new dimension of, of things. And, uh, you start to to find much more things than this, the, the the real leaf, the real thing itself, the reasoning. So, and also in the class, I try to one thing I start to uh, very uh, focused or very uh, emphasized is that you I do not want to you to paint something pretty. Pretty is not a word in in my. Uh, in my goal. You enjoy the class and you do something different and totally use your, your brush, use your pen to speak of something that uh, you cannot speak out and uh, let your idea guide you. So the students comes out, uh, out of the class. You can see uh, pretty or not is not important. They get it. And uh, they are just happy. The, a lot of paintings are absolutely, 
you feel that they are they are enjoying the class. They do um, a, a, a bird, a butterfly, a flower, or any shape, triangle. And of course, they play games, they paint a lot of, or draw a lot of their game character. But they make their story, and they can develop something that beyond only skill. And also, in art class, we have one hour every week. So it's very limited time. If we put too much attention on skills, and uh, we are covering up, up, or we are or meeting up a lot of their intuitive, their innocent, uh, their innocent real sense of art of expression. So, so in the in the club, uh, yes, please. Mm. Oh yes, I mostly learned from my students. I, every time, whenever, whenever I present an idea, I make a demonstration, and uh, the, the final result, usually in the class, I project a few pieces of painting as a source of inspiration, or as the source, or as the starting point for, starting to, for students to get started. And the end result is so, so, so far from the original work. And uh, I see that they have their own eyes of seeing the world. And it's, it's very fascinating. And every time I learn their way of expression, and which is very, um, very free and uh, not trained, not manipulated, very mature. A uh, very uh, immature, very naive uh, um, sense of things, yes. It's uh, sometimes it's colorful, so I, I have never thought about it. My work is. Uh, I never thought myself as artist. I never, I never use that. Never think of introducing my work or something. Okay, I'm happy. I did a, a piece of painting, scribbling on doodling. It comes out. Some people like. Some people like it, and I have never thought about how to how to introduce it. It's uh, sometimes it's it's out of mind. It's follow your heart, follow your uh, very random. It's all this random putting together. But I have my own discipline, something kind of uh, a simple and uh, line to be, to, be, to be good line, good character. Each line has its own character, has its strengths, uh, that kind, yes. But uh, it's mostly very random work. And, uh, and I started from Chinese brush, Chinese brush painting. And then I found uh, knowing one kind of art, uh, getting familiar with one media, it helps you to go to other media. So then I start to do some pencil and some oil pastel. I think last year I discovered oil pastel. And uh, just the classroom have some leftover, and it's very soft, very smooth. I get comfortable and get uh, fascinated trying new things, and uh, some leftover uh, acrylic, everything. So I never thought about start something, something totally go to shop buy a new things. It's already there, and then I use it and found it has a new outlet of my heart, of different things. Before I do Chinese painting, very limited color, very few color. And now using oil pastel, using acrylic, it has this brilliant color itself. So I just follow the, the media, follow its own strengths and, uh, 
and uh, play around with it. <laughs> Okay, uh, <clears throat> very long time ago, I received one, uh, one young child a gift, sending me an, an oil pastel work. I just put it aside and uh, um, amazed by the color blending, never thought about it much. And then I found oil pastel, uh, it's another one is starting from student finished a piece of work and they do not like and I was trying to cover up and he she was trying to cover it up then she put all kinds of color and then I started to put some uh, I say okay how about green yellow blue these three color or four colors put together and I think I have this piece of painting I forgot but anyway we were trying to cover up a piece of old paper and oil pastel cover up everything and then I saw the Monet's painting Lily Pond then I put some uh, a different color and it comes out a very impre impressionist work so starting from there I start to discover and uh, I saw the uh, Georgia O'Keeffe her painting of New York City and then started from there start to use a lot of color a lot of uh, a, a lot of strengths of color color contrast or or the same shade same tone of color and then I uh, uh, search internet any picture get a picture blow it up and then uh, starting from there it's a beautiful color and start to paint the result, ending result, comes out. It's not a copy. It's just a, a bunch of color pictures in front of me, and I pick something here, something there, and start my painting there. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the YouTube started, I am in a Chinese painting group, an online group, and then some friends in the group, uh, it's a very active Chinese painting, Chinese brush painting group, Yahoo group. And it's a very active group. Still now, people discuss about art. One friend um, uh, posted a YouTube uh, video, and uh, it it is a Chinese painting, 3D video, very interesting. Just linked that video, and then I was thinking maybe I can do a video. So I did my video. That that was five years ago. The very first video, if you can click my uh, channel, you can click through the date, the oldest, you can find that video. I was so shy, intimidated, and uh, I did not even talk, just uh, a video of painting a bamboo. And then started to people subscribe. I was very surprised. And uh, there is even people uh, comments. So through people's uh, interest you gain confidence oh there is a meaning of it there are people interested in it so i start to do more at the very beginning it's only painting uh, bamboo or, or plum and then i start to do some chinese language still there are people interested and then i did cooking people interest so whenever i do something there is uh, there are people interested in and slowly I, I become interested. And then at this time, there are um, people who dislike me or kind of hatred, I think. They, they write very, very bad words, something so evil, I was very hurt. And I did some video uh, 
please the he word help me and uh, got a lot of people that just uh, just the supporting and expressing because i think this is a very common thing people uh, people sharing their things and got people jealous or got people disagree some is uh, because of uh, academic disagree and some because of just the people has nothing to do maybe they enjoy doing these things and we all experience this and it hurts us and uh, so I, I did I made kind of a big deal from my character is a big deal I made a video uh, just uh, reading a bad word and uh, not reading those bad words, putting those unfriendly words on top, and then I say, you cannot stop me. Uh, um, I will not care about you, maybe because you do not have a happy life, but that will not stop me from doing what I like. So I got people much more uh, supportive so through that I grow to be more mature to to deal with uh, people who does not who, who write hate comment or write this kind of comment one thing you delete it block the block that user another thing just ignore and have some uh, have some pity on those those uh, actions maybe they had a bad day Maybe they had really a terrible time, so so they need to have a place to to vent their their anger, and uh, it's better they vent their anger in my channel and I block it, then they vent in the street, cursing other people, doing bad things. So I I just block it and uh, and uh, delete it. So it's. Um, Everybody is happy right now, I think. <laughs> they got their vent coming out. They got their anger coming out. And still there are some coming out of nowhere and nothing to do with my video. Still there are people making uh, very unrelated comments. We all know that uh, this happens. There are some. Uh, and also I have one friend asking, how about you, you talk? A video about make a video about why people are born evil there are some people born evil I do not believe people born evil or something but it's uh, it might be just that they have a bad time that particular day and if we give tolerance and if we give more uh, um, forgiveness or do not uh, do not make a big deal they will they will um, light down light down they will Etan in French word is etan. They will um, they will burn out by themselves. The the bad energy, yes. I feel very ashamed of making so many videos. I still feel very ashamed of making so many videos because I feel I'm wasting people's time. And, uh, and this is uh, a lot of people, a lot of very close to me people say, your video does not have a point. And I just make my courage and I was shamelessly <laughs> putting it on, but still I got people like it. And still, so one thing I, I kind of uh, settle with, I do not argue with myself, is that anything we passionately like, there must be people passionately dislike. Something we dislike must be something that other people like. My video may be not good for learning, but might be good for sleeping. For falling asleep because it's boring. It's, some people is calming and relaxing, and uh, some people find. And uh, I do make effort making some video educative. For example, yoga video or painting video, or uh, or telling the process. And a lot of video coming out. You decide. This is what 
I am doing interesting or not, you get whatever you need. If you feel it is not good, close it up and switch to another channel. And uh, <clears throat> so it's like advertisement. <laughs> the, we, we dislike, but they are there. I'm not saying my video like advertisement. My video is just there. And uh, please, you wisely choose to spend your time. Sometimes you need that, that, that minute of nothingness, then take it. Sometimes you do not need, then leave it. Yes. Uh -huh. What is SMR? Oh, 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 yes, I do not get it. I still do not get it. And a lot of people, and now I, I search online. I search my name and I search on Reddit. I have some, some video on it. And I search on uh, Sue's Tube and people are interested, and I still do not get it. And uh, I feel very uncomfortable uh, if, if I get that feeling. I am not comfortable with it. And uh, so I never intentionally making it. I feel sorry to, to make those sounds. And then I got people say, oh, I love that sound, that plastic sound. I cannot get it, but... Uh, Maybe because uh, I do it neutrally, I do not know. I just uh, make it, it's sound of life. It's the sound of true life. And I always think there's nothing better than the very genuine, the very original, true life that is more fascinating than it. There's nothing more fascinating than, than this. For example, my painting, I do not speed up. And just the truly, step by step, things come out. And this is very fascinating. Then you manipulate and make your painting uh, a, a fast forward or speed. There is a very uh, intimate and very intense uh, power in originality. That's what I feel. Yeah. Yes, one friend told me, hey, Hai Ying, you are on, on Sue's tube. So then I, I went to that side and I found people's comments. And then another day I searched my name online and uh, searched the word ASMR because I do not know it. So I searched this and then found my, my name and my video popped up. Then I started to look into it and read people's comments and uh, and a lot of people find it interesting i still did not read very much about it but uh, i feel that um, maybe this kind of quiet video can make people calm down and my my voice is very monotoned if i speak in the most natural natural voice it's really make people sleepy i know but once you, and people, some people make comments. I wonder how I can stay in Haiying's class, and if her voice is like this. My class is chaos. I tell you, people are so happy. Kids are so happy, because my my voice does not not have authority. I realize my voice does not have authority. My voice does not have power. So the only thing I calm down the kids, one of the only thing, I have some routine, for example, clap one if you hear my voice, clap two if you hear my voice, something like this, it works. 
but the most powerful is when I tell story. When I tell story, students open up their mouths, open up their eyes, and look and listen to the next sentence. And I know my language is not, uh, I'm not native English speaker. I make a lot of effort to make these stories and to tell the story. But it just fascinate, fascinates me that they like the story. And, uh, and uh, when you have a message, and when you have intense something to tell, they can get it. And uh, the story, I think, is, is interesting. <laughs> And uh, yeah. Mm. What is the, the important thing to have a happy life? The, the three things to, to have a happy life. Gosh, you, you, you must be a journalist. You always ask this. I have never prepared these kind of things. One thing is. Uh, it's not a big deal, and uh, I am not good at uh, at asking things. I accept things, and uh, just uh, be tolerant, accept things, and do not take things as a as a big deal, and also uh, do not be perfectionist. I think maybe this is the three, as far as I can think of. Be happy, yes. Whatever is there, be happy, accept. And do not pursue to be perfect. Mm. The beautiful sunshine and, uh, and the view in front of me. The orange is becoming better, uh, yellowing. I, I savor the moment. So the answer is it is really the little tiny things. I have some uh, some little pens in front of me. I bought uh, colorful pens in front of me. All these views makes me happy. And seeing right at this moment what I can get at this moment, this makes me very happy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I am from nowhere. I'm from nothing. I was born, we were born with nothing come to this world. And I come from, from China. And uh, my family, my father is a professor and mother is a teacher. But material life, we were because teachers usually we, we, we are not materially rich, right? So um, we, we had nothing. And now there is a house here. And there is beautiful sunshine here. And uh, everything is, we are not granted to have it. And uh, heaven just give us so beautiful things, just enjoy. And, uh, fresh food uh, um, and material and uh, and uh, California it's, it's anywhere we are living in paradise I'm just uh, very happy any little things yes exactly yes yes In uh, I I didn't get you. I'm sorry. What did you say? Yeah. Huh? In brave. I do not know this word. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh oh oh. Having courage. Uh, I. I do not have, uh, uh, why are we afraid of? When you do bad things, you are afraid of. 
you are afraid of revenge. You are afraid of because you, you know you did something wrong, and I think now there is no need. I do do much bad things to hurting people, and uh, to to do bad things to cheat and things, and now. I, I am a teacher. I think this is uh, the best job I have. It's like uh, winning a lottery. Before I was doing business, and um, there's business strategies and things. But now I really do not need to, to manipulate things. I, I can comfortably live a happy life and live a life without worrying that much. And it doesn't help to worry. It doesn't help to be angry. It doesn't help to do bad things. So just do things as natural, as ordinary as it is. If I am alive today, I am alive. If, I, if it is time that uh, I need to go to the other place, to heaven, to anywhere, it's already decided, so no need to fight. <laughs> and uh, yes, just be brave. It is your time to enjoy. Enjoy to the fullest. When it is time, you are exhausting all your good luck and all your health. And you, you, it is time for you to go. Calmly, comfortably go and trade. Uh, 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 treat life, treat things with respect, with calmness, with calm. Yeah. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It will be very interesting to see how other people think of me <laughs> and spending so much time. I will look forward to it. That will be really fun. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you mind if I upload this video, this very raw uh, video of this one, of our dialogue? Okay, and then I put your link. I never thought about it, just suddenly think about it. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Okay, you Facebook uh, send me a message, or I send, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good day. Enjoy the sunshine. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this is a, a, a video interview from, um, from, um, from examiner. Let me... Let me take some time to find this place. Uh, I was very surprised that somebody found me and interested in doing an interview on me. So we decided about the time. And here is the interview. Let me find this uh, gentleman's website. His name is Xavier. Xavier is a very French name. Za yes, Xavier Indy. And uh, his website is. Uh, Let me see if I can put it here. So it's 
So this is the website examiner.com. Oh gosh, please, I'm sorry. This is the website and uh, you'll find something else. And uh, he has done some interview with great artists like this. So I feel quite intimidated by uh, by this uh, by by the interview because all those artists they are so great. Now I find another artist and uh, it is uh, it is such a wonderful um, it is a dream to be just uh, be part of this uh, of uh, of this uh, this program so artist characters. here is another artist And all these, look at this, they are all great artists. Anyway, just Francis Xavier by Francis Xavier. Xavier. Let's see, artist interview. This is the interview artist. Mm -mm. Click, click. It does not pop up. Anyway, so 